Hey folks, today I'm going to teach you 15 essential shortcuts for the Photos app. That's coming up next on Tech Talk America. Do me one little favor. When you're done watching this video, let me know in the comments section which of these shortcuts was your favorite. The first shortcut that I want to teach you, I have to confess, I didn't even know this one until recently. If you are in full screen mode and the image on the screen is a live photo or a video, just press option and the space bar to play. Speaking of live photos, I have to give a quick plug to another video. There is this super cool thing that you can do with live photos where you can export a bunch of them as a video where each shot is three seconds in length. If you want to learn more, there's a link in the video description. Trick number two is when you're here in full screen mode, you can press option and the S key to hide or reveal the thumbnail slider at the bottom. So if I'm trying to find a specific photo in a group, I can click and skim through these images to quickly navigate to that image. When you're in the thumbnail view, you probably already knew that tapping the space bar will make it take up the whole window. But you may not know that if instead you tap the return key, that will immediately take you into editing mode. This sets us up perfectly for the next three shortcuts, which are A, F, C. A for adjust, F for filters, and C for crop. I'm guessing some of you already knew this one, but it's still worth mentioning. If a photo is oriented the wrong way, you can use Command Option R to rotate it clockwise or leave out the Option key to rotate it counterclockwise. Let's say you have a few types of adjustments you want to make to a group of photos. Rather than having to do that to every photo one by one, you can make your adjustments to one photo and then copy and paste those adjustments to everything else. For example, let's take this photo. Once I've made those adjustments and clicked done, I can now select the photo and press Command Shift C to copy the adjustments. Then I can select a group of other photos and press Command Shift V to paste. Many times when I'm viewing a photo for the first time, I'll try the one-click enhance tool just to see how it does. The keyboard shortcut for that is Command E. Let's say you've done that and now you wanna go back and see what the photo looked like before you added any adjustments. All you have to do is press the M key. And just to be clear, that keyboard shortcut only works if you're in edit mode. This next trick is perfect when you're viewing photos in full screen and you want to zoom in and out of different parts of the photo. All you have to do is tap the Z key. Just think Z for zoom. And as you can see here, it follows my cursor. Let's say you're going through your library and you come across, how do I put it, an adult photo? Command L will send it to the hidden album. Here's a great little trick that will instantly make your albums look so much better. Don't you hate it when you create an album full of a group of photos, but the image that it uses as the cover is a photo that's not so great? Well, if you come across a photo that you want to feature as the album cover, just press Command Shift K. If you're one of the people who likes to have titles visible, you'll want to know this next one. Command Shift T will hide or show titles. You probably already knew if you're in an album and you tap the delete key, it removes the photo from the album, but the photo still remains in the library. That being said, if you do want to send it to the trash, just press command delete. I pray you never need to use this next shortcut, but it's really good to know just in case. If your photos library ever has issues, for example, if you see question marks where photos should be, if you hold down the command and option key, when you go to launch the Photos app, it will ask you if you would like to repair the library. This can take several minutes to upwards of an hour, depending on how many photos are in your library and how fast your computer is. We've still got a few more to go, but first I need to take 30 seconds to tell you about our sponsor, softwarekeep.com. You know, there's a lot that divides us in this world, but there's one thing that I feel like we can all come together on. Subscriptions suck. That's why you need to check out softwarekeep.com. For example, if you pay for Office 365, but all you actually use is Word, Excel, and occasionally PowerPoint, check this out. Click the link in the video description, which will take you here. Then, here where it says enter promo code, type in TTA20 and watch the price magically drop another 20%. 30 minutes later, they will email you a license code as well as the download link. 
If you're looking to organize your photo library, you might want to consider creating a folder structure. The shortcut to create a new folder is Command Shift N. If you have a group of photos selected and press Command N, that will turn them into an album. If you're one of those people who likes to use the Photos app to organize your photos, but you like to use something else to edit them, whether it's Affinity or Pixelmator Pro or Topaz Photo, as long as that was the last extension you used, pressing Command and the Return key while clicked on a photo will bring that photo into your preferred third-party editor. One quick announcement before we go, if you would like to join my newsletter, please visit my website at techtalkamerica.com. And after about 10 seconds, you'll see a little pop-up. Just fill that out, and that way you can find out whenever I come out with new content. Be sure to click the like button, and thanks for watching. This is David A. Cox with Tech Talk America, class dismissed.